Let's make a super cute card with the take a bow paper. So we have four different designs in the take a bow paper and lots of great colors with our mossy meadow, our granny apple green, our garden green and our real red. And when you turn them over, you get lots of dots. So there's lots of fun things that you can do with this paper. We're gonna use one piece and use both sides of it. So I pulled in this one right here which has lots of greens on one side and on the other, it's got a mix of our dots. So we are going to cut this and the first cut we're going to make is for one and a half. So we're gonna cut it at one and a half and I'm just using the full six by six piece here. So you're just going to cut a piece there and then you're also going to cut another piece that's two and a half and just pull that over. Okay, so we've got a two and a half piece and we have a one and a half piece. And then we are going to take this down to five and a quarter. But I wanted to cut it this way first because I wanna use a couple of these little pieces for the inside of our card. So we're gonna use this piece here. I could have cut this one down, I guess, but that's okay. We've got another little piece. In fact, we'll actually decide together which one we want to use. So I've got two pieces here, but I'm going to use them either like this and this, or like this and this. So we'll decide when we get to our card. So I've already folded my piece of garden green, and I've also already put on the inside just a piece of our basic white. So we're going to glue these down, and we're going to put either, it's up to you, you're either going to put the uh, smaller on top, bigger on the bottom, or the other way around. Now I do have a sample to show you at the end, and uh, I'm going to do this one different than I did that one. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the green on this one. So again, you have all kinds of options here as you're creating. So this is going to end up being about the same size as what we would put on if we were going to put another card base on. But we're not going to do that. So we are just going to put our bigger piece down at the bottom and then we're going to glue the other one right over top and we're gonna butt it right up against that edge. So you instantly have a great card design, okay? So you're just gonna place that like that. And then we're going to pull in our hang and ornament stamp set and the hang and ornament die. So this is a great little set. And I did hum and haw when I was first looking through the catalog and I thought, mm, I can get that one another time. But you know what? I did get it. And I have to say that this has become one of my favorite stamp sets out of the 2024 holiday catalog. I've used it for so many different things. So we are going to use the ornament or the bauble today. And we're going to use the all is merry. And then we're also going to need to use this die, this one and this one, and then the big round one here. So we are first of all going to bring in just a piece of real red, and this is just half an inch, and I made it especially long because we are gonna decorate the inside. So we're going to be using our Versamark and our Embossing Buddy today. And we're only gonna use the embossing buddy in one instance, because we're also going to be embossing white on white with our ornament. So we are going to use the embossing buddy on the red. So just give it a little bit of a swipe. I don't like to pounce too much because it'll give you too much is what it's gonna do. So we're gonna ink up our All Is Merry. Now for the All Is Merry, what we wanna do is we want to not put it uh, right in at the edge of either one. We're gonna put it sort of in the center. And we're gonna try and get that as straight as possible and make sure you stamp it all the way down and then lift all the way off. And we're going to be using the WOW embossing powders. And this is uh, the white and it comes in the package of the basics. There's a white, there's a clear, and there's also a black. So I'm gonna lift this off and I'm also going to use just a piece of regular old computer paper. So I'm going to pull that in and I'm going to sprinkle that on my All Is Merry. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and also stamp our uh, ornament. Let's put that down, try and get it in the middle. So it's just a piece of basic white that I have here. Give it a pretty good impression. And then I'll just sort of pull off like that. And then we're going to sprinkle our white over top. And we're going to take that before we get rid of it completely, sprinkle it right over our All Is Merry. So when I do that, 
just going to give it a little flick on the back and I'm pretty good. I've got a little, a couple little pieces right there. So I'm going to pull in my little paintbrush and I'm just going to get rid of that. It's not super imperative on this one because it's going to be white on white, like I said, but on this one, unless I do a tap off, which I'll do like that. It's really not going to be all that great if I have lots of little white dots everywhere. So I'm going to, I'm going to give that just a little bit more powder and see how that works because it seems like it's not super, like my ink isn't really as uh, wet as it should be. So let's just take a look at that one. If I have to do this one again, I will, but I'm going to go ahead and heat these up with my heat tool now. Now, one of the things about uh, stamping and embossing white on white is that it could be a little bit difficult to see, but it really gives you a pretty look. So we are going to cut that out. Now we're going to take a look at this all is merry and it looks not bad. Let's just try it again on the back side and see if we can get it a little bit more white. So we're going to try it again. So I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to ink it up really well this time. And I'm going to stamp it again in about the same spot. Give that a really good impression this time. And I probably gave it too much, but let's just see. Sprinkle that on a little bit. Actually, that does look maybe a little bit better. So again, give it a nice little flick and we can decide once we've embossed this one. Okay. Heat that up. Okay, so there's that one. And there's that one. I actually think number one is better. So I'm going to go with number one. Now what you can do with your powder, some of you may have cringed when I put my heat tool over top of the powder and uh, that's okay because I could do this before I can do it after. As long as you hold your heat tool up above the powder, not right on top of it, you should be good. You won't melt it. Okay. So what we are going to do now is we are going to glue this down right over top. And uh, what we're also going to do is we're going to cut this out and we're going to place it over here. So we're going to use the dies to do that. So with this die, I found it sort of hard when it's got this piece right here, sort of hard to see to make sure I was cutting it in the right place. And I'm sorry, it might be a little bit difficult because of the white on white. But with that piece, what I do is I pull my die down so that it's going to be right over top of it. And then I gradually push it up and then I can usually be fairly assured it's in the right place. So let me do that for you. So I pull this down so it's lined up with the top and then I move it up. And then I do look to make sure I've got about the same amount of space all the way around. And I think I can just turn it just a tiny bit. And then I really give it some good post-it note on there so that it's not going to move. And I'm going to run that through my mini stamp and cut in a boss machine. Then we're going to pull that out and here's what it looks like. Let me take our post-it note tape off. Now, when you pull off your die, this is what's going to happen. This is got little, those little breaks will hold the paper together. So what we're going to do is just take, cause we don't want it to be um, like this. We want it cut out. So I'm just going to take my paper snips, which seem to have a little bit of glue on them right now. So they need to be cleaned. And then I just snip off each one of these tiny little snip and we're left just with the ornament. So I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of that, but before we put it down, I want to do something else. So I'm going to take some of the other dies. I'm going to take this, uh, which is the hook and this one, which is the top. And I'm going to cut that out with a piece of our gold foil. And then I'm also going to take this piece right here and I'm going to cut it out of a scrap of this one here. And this is the berry burst old olive and white, which is an online exclusive. And uh, it's available now as of the end of October, 2024. And this white is always perfect for Christmas, isn't it? Because you can do snow or whatever and these are great colors for Christmas. So I am going to use the white and I'm just cut myself a piece here out of that and then I've also cut the little top for our ornament and I've also cut the hook. So now we're getting ready to put this all together. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on the top of our ornament. Just a tiny little dot here just enough to hold that 
cap in place. So we're going to pick this up and we're going to place it right over top. Now it might be easier for you to use your take your pick tool, but I do want that just to sit in place. If it's a little bit crooked, I'm okay, but I am going to move it as much as possible. And then I'm going to take the hook and I'm gonna put that on with a glue dot. I want it to set up right away. So let's just put it right on top of the glue dot here. And then I'm gonna lift the whole thing off with my fingers and I'm gonna put that right in behind. And you don't want to be able to see your glue dot. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our little piece of the glimmer and we're going to glue that down. I'm just gonna use my liquid glue here. Now what's great with these ones is they actually show you exactly where it needs to go. So you're gonna press that down and it will go from one side right across to the other side. Okay, so we've got our ornament done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off. We need to make sure our ornament's gonna fit over there, and I think it is. So we're going to cut this off at five and a quarter. So let's grab our trimmer. And I wouldn't try and eyeball this and do it with your scissors because you do want this to be exact. So. If anything, go a tiny bit more than five and a quarter, like just a smidge. But I'm gonna go right at five and a quarter. And we're gonna glue this down right over top of where the two meet. So I'm gonna put liquid glue on right onto that piece and try and get it right out to the edge because you do want this to stick everywhere. It also gives you a chance when you use your liquid glue, a chance just to adjust it if it's not quite straight. And then get any little bits that you might have picked up of your embossing powder, which I did. And we're going to put this on, and we're gonna give it a little bit of a diagonal, press that down, and then we're also going to put little dots of glue. So if you wanna just put little dots of glue right in the center of all of those little scallops. So there's five different scallops. And then we're going to pull in our real red and white adhesive backed peppermints. And these were out for a while, but they are back in stock and these are great. So we're gonna use the larger ones and we're going to first of all use them here. So I'm going to put one in the middle. Although they are adhesive backed, what I like to do when I'm putting anything on top of glimmer paper is I like to put that little bit extra bit of glue. It'll just set up and it'll stick there and it'll be permanent. Because sometimes I know I've put a card in the mail and these tend to fall off. So we're putting five on here. Try and get them all at the same height, if you can. Okay, so that's super cute. But we're also going to take the middle ones and we are going to put a middle one here. Actually, we're gonna do a middle and two small, I think. So a middle one and then beside it, a small one and then another one here. So I always do the middle first and then come back and do both sides. So there's the front of our card, super cute, but we wanna do the inside too. So the inside, we wanna take that piece of red that we cut off and we are going to place it on top of the designer paper. And you can decide if you wanna go with the green or with the dots. I think I'm gonna go with the dots. So I'm gonna glue it down first. And I wanna make sure I put glue on the right side because I know I've got that embossing on the other. And we're gonna place this down so we get about the same amount of space, top and sides. So glue that down. I'll pull that out for you to see. Again, we have our liquid glue, so we have a bit of time. And now we are going to use our paper snips and we're going to just eyeball that guy. And then we're going to just place that on the bottom. So it's just bringing the outside of the card in a little bit and giving just a little something extra on our card. So there is your card with lots of green. Now let me bring in the one that I did make before. So this one is done in real red base using totally different paper, but again, one piece of paper. And I exchanged the top and the bottom so you can see the different look that you get just by moving the smaller piece and the larger piece. So I hope you enjoy that project. Please give me a like below and subscribe to my channel. Also sign up for my newsletter. I send out all kinds of free ideas, free PDFs and tutorials, and I just love having everybody be part of my community. Thanks very much. Have a great paper crafting day. Bye-bye.